Welcome Libra to your February, mid-February love reading. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Charlie Tarot and feel free to subscribe. So we are going to um, get into you and your person's situation. We are going to clarify and then the, we're going to pull the untold messages of the heart to get more in depth in your person's true feelings and what they have to say. Okay, so Let's go ahead and jump right in. We are going to also pull the angel answers to get direct advice from spirit. So let's jump right in. I'm going to go ahead and cut the deck like this and pull some cards. So let's see. We have the tower. Oh, but we have that chariot coming in with the six of swords. All right. We have the high priestess. Wow, major arcana. See, I knew I needed to... <laughs> <laughs> to pull this uh, cards differently because there's a big message. A lot of change coming in. I mean, lots and lots of change. Um, we have the tower coming in. So let's see. Again, keep in mind this reading may not resonate with every single one of you. So please take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. So we have justice again. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy, Page of Wands. The Lovers, the Hermit, the Nine of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, and Death. Okay, so we have the Tower coming in, Libra, which means disruption and conflict, something very unexpected. There could be somebody resisting a lot of change, done something very bad, um, but this is, you know, I feel like this tower is coming and I feel like it's pushing you to a new direction, okay? Because you have the power or the willpower to move forward, to overcome this. Um, and I feel it's going to move you to calmer waters uh, when you find out that this person has been dishonest about something, okay? Uh, there is something I feel you find out. It could be you or a message coming through or seeing something here with the Page of Swords that this person is not being honest and may not be taking any accountability um, for their actions. I do feel like you are releasing this person or coming out of some type of healing from them as you're having an awakening and listening more into your high priestess energy, more of your intuition and trusting yourself here, right? Uh, your intuition could be, you know, powerful visions or dreams, or you guys could be doing a lot of meditation or tarot. And I feel like this is like a very spiritual path that you're on as the judgment is coming in more for you to kind of like pulling you into the future. Their ju judgment does mean choices. It also can represent second chances. Um, as we do have the lovers here, it does also represent choices. Now, a choice between love or lovers um, to move on forward with this individual or to leave them behind this could be a choice between two people but it also represents a separation the hermit is here which is all about inner reflection this could be a withdrawal but it's more of soul searching and being wise about the situation this could be feeling a bit lonely when you're in the hermit because you're kind of removing yourself from chaos to find like to go within for the answers now the eight of swords is coming in your energy so there could be a lot of mental conflict um, but I feel is that with the hermit, I feel like you already kind of know what to do with the situation um, because the hermit is here. So you have like a lot of wisdom, uh, but something could be taking a long time or feeling like it's going like something's taking um, a while here. Someone is looking at you or wanting you to show some type of interest. Um, they're wanting you to recognize them. They're recognizing you and they want you to recognize them. Their actions here are at a pause. There's really no movement. And I feel during this pause, there could be a time of maybe this person fearing that you're surrendering them. What you don't see coming is the King of Swords energy. You could be having a truthful conversation, not really putting a lot of emotions here when it comes to communication here. We do have the Page of Wands, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, and an, an air sign, Gemini, Lib um, yeah, Gemini Libra. Aquarius. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Oh my gosh, sorry. So 
I do feel like somebody is in deep regret. Someone's overthinking. They're not sure what to do. They don't know if you're going to surrender them or not. Um, I feel like they are at a pause right now or things could be at a pause, but something comes up. I feel like something unexpectedly must have already happened or something is about to be revealed to you that will kind of is pushing you more to calmer waters. Okay. Um, and the chariot is really taking your power back and going full force ahead away from this tower so let's go ahead and clarify because um i feel with this justice here that someone's not taking rec yeah they're not taking accountability it says lack of self-awareness doubt and self-loathing this person could be like more of a victimized mentality like not taking any responsibility or accountability for their actions okay so this person could be dealing with the consequences this person's not being honest they're very being very dishonest with themselves they're lying to themselves and they're just maybe it's too much pride getting in the way we do have the king of wands um, coming in Air, um, Aries Leo Sagittarius once again so let's get this eight of swords yeah you're not speaking to this person I feel is that it's a difficult choice yes it's an indecision but it's a stalemate I feel like this person you see as not taking, uh, not telling the truth, not being honest with you either. So I feel like you are standing your ground. You're not wanting to communicate with this person at this time. And I feel like this person is wanting you to recognize them. They want you to reach out. So um, you could be um, in the process of feeling defeated, not really wanting to take on this energy as of right now. Okay, Page of Swords. Manipulative, cruel, and weakness. Again, feeling defeated because they're being manipulated. This could be narcissistic characteristics. A person who's very selfish and not very nice to others, especially with their words. This is a cold energy. And I feel like they, the reason why they're cold is because they're not self-aware. Or they're, again, not willing to be truthful. I feel like this person has a lot of pride and this is what brings in this tower. This person's creating a tower moment, mostly for themselves because I feel you'll be fine. What's this Knight of Pentacles? The High Priestess. There's something within you that's telling you to keep going, okay? To keep going. Your intuition's here. It's right on. You have the High Priestess to the High Priestess. You're very spiritually wise. You can see things that others can't. You're very higher level of consciousness. That's where you're operating from. So I feel is that you can see through all of this BS. Okay. Um, yeah. Somebody was lack of do, like lacking on their part. Maybe cause a lot of drama within your life. But we have the six of wands. So let's see. Greed, indulgence. I mean, this person is coming up everything. But they're panicking and while they're waiting, things are slowing down. So I feel like this person may be getting angrier, maybe wanting to do something to where it triggers you. So be careful with that energy. Okay. We do have the hangman. Yeah, because they're being selfish. They're insecure and jealous right now. This person is coming like, wow, their actions on why they want to trigger you they're causing a tower moment because they don't want to look at themselves where is the devil like seriously yeah the devil how creepy yep there it is you're releasing the devil you're breaking away from the devil they were reckless with your energy libra Okay, you're freeing yourself. You're restoring control of your life. You're releasing this person. That's probably becoming very boring to you now that you're seeing who this person is. It's kind of hard to let this devil go, though, for some of you, but you're doing it. You're overcoming it. You're on your way. Page of Wands. Yeah, this could be why. It's hard to let go because somebody is either spying on you, trying to contact you, very curious to come towards you. Um, and that can leave you a bit like stuck in a bit, but I feel like you know how to get yourself out. You already know what's ahead. It's going to take a little bit, but it's asking you to have patience and do things in moderation. Success is at the end of the road. Okay. 
I feel like you're knowing your worth very much here and standing strong. And this person is going crazy because how strong you're doing, but they're operating from a bad way. Yeah, you're feeling defeated. Somebody could be like wanting you to forgive them in the moment that you don't really show much attention. This is where they can start getting a little mean. Okay. The hermit is coming in. Yeah. There's no clarity. There's no clarity. You're balancing between your heart and your head and emotionally controlling yourself and this person is losing it. They're going to try so many ways to um, get your attention and it's going to end with a tower moment because not only are they pushing you away even more, you're really not going to talk to them now. And they think this is a way to get you back or like, I'm not going to be the only one in pain. You're going to be in pain too with me, but it's not even going to pain hurt you because you have the chariot. You have your angels. You have your intuition. You're operating from a higher level of consciousness. This person does not see clearly. So what it's going to do, this is going to be their tower. This doesn't seem like it's, um, this person is getting it at all. You are definitely freeing yourself from a toxic energy okay libra and i feel you're going to see very very clear the more and more this person or the more that you stand your ground so you're going to see how bad this person can get because they're insecure right now because you are not giving them attention or just knowing your worth so in the near in the very near future. Let's get another card here. Jealousy. I feel like you've moved on without me and that's difficult for me to see. And that's what their actions are towards you. So now their actions are coming in to get your attention, but the wrong way. Okay, you're going to see this person's true colors. They don't want you to go. They're feeling like you're a magnet towards them. Don't give up on me yet. I'm scared to lose you. I keep being drawn back to you and I can't quite explain why. They're planning something. I know that I want you in my future. I'm working on making the proper plans. Sorry, please accept my apologies so we can move past this. So this person may be um, in the stage, in different stage right now, but I do feel in the near future they're going to feel very magnetized to you, but jealousy is kicking in. They don't want you to leave them. They're not wanting you to move on without them, but I feel like the damage could be done um, with this energy because they could be showing you some things you probably never saw before within this energy, and it could either really push you away. Let's get advice from Spirit because I feel like this is a very, very strong reading. Huge warning here. It's not your tower, though. It's not your tower. It's their tower. You could, you could be by just by you letting, like by you staying silent or by you being strong in your energy and standing strong, even though it may be, you know, messing with your mind a little bit. This person has no way, shape, or form but to blame themselves. Okay, they're literally fighting with themselves because they can't be honest with themselves. They can't look in the mirror. So this is a huge self-reflection for this person and it's going to end in a tower moment because you're not the one to blame. You're not doing anything wrong. What uh, advice do you have for Libra? Romance, choose a new direction. We have within the next few weeks. So ask your angels, okay? So your angels want you to ask them a question or whatever you have on your mind. And we'll see what's coming in with these three cards. Now I feel like this is a very big message for you here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. So we have romance. A very important relationship is about to enter or has recently entered your life. This is the romance you have been waiting for. Like all partnerships, there may be ups and downs, but don't let that ditter you or shake your confidence. Have faith that love is coming into your life to stay. If your question was about a current relationship, you can expect the parties to become closer to one another. Past disagreements will fade away and trust will grow. All relationships have peaks and valleys. This card indicates an upward movement to a new level of dedication and intimacy. This can include engagement, marriage, or a form of recommitment to one another. 
Now, I feel like Spirit is wanting to acknowledge that this is about a romantic partnership, but it's saying to choose a different direction within a few weeks. There's something here that's going to be revealed to you within a few weeks. The choose the new direction is very important because this romance could be coming in as you choose a different direction with the chariot card. Okay. Um, so I don't want to give anybody false hope. Okay. So this is more of choose a new direction. The time has come to choose a new direction for your life. A lot of you guys could be feeling like this was a very strong soulmate connection and then something happened. Okay. So that's why it's saying choose a different direction. So the time has come to choose a new direction for your life. The circumstances that you find yourself living in may seem unfulfilling or perhaps your heart is full of discontent. Dis you know that there is something more out in the world for you. And you've been procrastinating following the guidance of your angels. Make a conscious choice to be the person you are meant to be. Create an action plan for yourself that leads you in the direction of your divine life purpose. Begin taking steps immediately towards a happier future. And then we have within the next few weeks. What you asked about will happen this month or soon. Therefore, your patience is rewarded. You're going to get the answers that you need regardless within a partnership. Romance is in the cards for you. Love, commitment, all of it. Marriage. I mean, everything is here for you. Um, it's in your life. That's what you're going to manifest. This situation, it feels like spirit is nudging you in a different direction. Um, but again, this is tarot, so things can change at any time. But something is going to be real, revealed to you within the next few weeks as you're here having patience and following your intuition and your guides. Okay, so very strong message there <clears throat> for Libra. Then we are going to grab the lovers of oracles. I love ending the the reading with lovers of oracles only time will tell yes very big message here guys very big message i'm going to go ahead and leave it right here for you libra i really hope this um reading brought some clarity or helped your situation in some way or another if you do like this message please like and subscribe and i will see you guys very soon god bless